In this video, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to transfer crypto from exchanges like Coinbase to Ledger wallets. And I'll be using my Ledger Nano X in this tutorial. Even if you use a different Ledger device, the transfer process should be the same. The only difference is that Ledger Nano X has the Bluetooth connection so you can manage your cryptos on the go. No matter what Ledger devices you use, the purpose should be to keep your crypto securely under your control. If you want to keep your crypto securely, please watch until the very end of this video. And now let's get started. I'll be doing the transfer process from Coinbase to Ledger wallets using Ledger Life app on desktop version and I'll be connecting my Ledger Nano X to the computer and also I'll be logging in my Coinbase account. So we're on Ledger Life app on desktop version and I'm going to connect my Ledger Nano X with the cable provided in the box. So I'm going to quickly connect that. All right, so it's showing Ledger. And now I'm going to type in my pin real quick on my Ledger device. And now I have put in my pin on my Ledger device and I'm going to choose my Ledger on Ledger Live app. On my Ledger device, it shows Allow Ledger Manager. So I'm going to press both buttons to continue. So after allowing the access with your Ledger Nano X device, then you can see your Ledger Nano X dashboard, which shows a list of apps and the apps that you have installed. For me, I have Bitcoin app, Ethereum app, Dogecoin app, and also Solana app. And I can install more apps if I wanted to. Right now, I'm going to retrieve the Bitcoin wallet address on this Ledger Life app because I will be putting that address on Coinbase to the recipient address box and I need to have the right address so that I can successfully transfer Bitcoin from Coinbase to this Ledger wallet. If you haven't installed any crypto apps, then you will have to install it first, like click the install icon like this and then add account. For example, if you're transferring Bitcoin from Coinbase to Ledger wallet, then you will have to install Bitcoin app and then click add account and then you will have to go through the process since I have already set up Bitcoin account I'll be using that account and get the wallet address since I'm transferring Bitcoin from Coinbase to Ledger wallets I'll be using Bitcoin account to receive the Bitcoin and one thing to keep in mind is that you cannot transfer other cryptocurrencies to this Bitcoin wallet same thing as you cannot transfer Ethereum to Bitcoin wallet and you cannot transfer Bitcoin to Ethereum wallet. I hope you get the point. Otherwise, you will lose your cryptos in the transfer process. Now I'm going to click receive and you will have to choose the cryptos that you want to send and the proper wallet address. So I'm going to choose Bitcoin Hink BTC. That's my primary account and I'm going to click continue. And so I will need to type in my pin on my ledger device and on the ledger device it shows open app for Bitcoin and I'm going to press both buttons to proceed and now we're on step two on ledger live desktop app then I need to compare this wallet address with the wallet address shown on my ledger device so I'm going to compare right now and it starts with that and ends with that and so I'm going to click confirm but before clicking confirm I need to copy this wallet address and I need to paste it on Coinbase so I'm going to click copy and then I should paste it somewhere else you can use any note-taking software to paste this address this is the public address and no one can steal your cryptos with your public address all they need is the 24 C phrases to access your cryptos so now on this note taking app, I'm going to click paste. So here is the wallet address and I'm going to press both buttons on my ledger device to proceed. In case if you approve the wallet address on your ledger device without copying the wallet address, you don't need to stress about it. All you need to do is click re-verify and it will get back to the page which has the wallet address on it. The wallet address is the same and you can just click copy approve and now click done all right so now I have already got this wallet address and this is the recipient 
So I'm going to put that wallet address on Coinbase during the transfer process. So this is my Coinbase account and I'm going to send Bitcoin from Coinbase to Ledger Wallet. And what you need to do is click send and receive. And you have two options, send and receive. So they are self-explanatory. If you're sending crypto out of Coinbase, then you will be choosing the send option. But if you're receiving cryptos from other wallets or other exchanges to Coinbase, then you will be choosing the receive options. I hope it makes sense. So I'm going to choose send. So I'm going to transfer some Bitcoin and I will start with the small amount to test out the transaction and see if it works. And I would recommend you to do the same to start out with a smaller amount to test out and to familiarize the process. So I'm going to test with $5 of Bitcoin and I'm going to choose Bitcoin here and for the wallet address, I just copied the Bitcoin wallet address from Ledger Life. But if it doesn't work, you can copy the Bitcoin wallet address that you pasted on the notes app. And I'm going to copy the entire wallet address. Make sure it looks right. I'm going to click paste. All right. So for the notes, it's optional. So I'm going to click continue. Now I will be sending $5 worth of Bitcoin to that address and it's going to take about 30 minutes. And there is a small fee called network fee and that is not charged by Coinbase. That is the network fee for the blockchain. Even though we're sending $5 worth of Bitcoin, we're actually spending 5.26 out of Coinbase account and $5 worth of Bitcoin will be transferred to my ledger wallet and the 0.26 it's the network fee. So, and make sure you double check all the details of your transaction. And if you're confident with all the details and then click send now. So it's going to take about 30 minutes, even though the transfer process is complete. So you got to be patient with that. So the transfer process is completed and this amount of Bitcoin, which is equivalent to $5 has been sent to this address. And it says the transaction usually takes about 30 minutes and I'm going to click view transaction to see more details. So this is like the confirmation and it says $5.26 has been transferred and there is the tiny network fee which I just mentioned and it's been sent to this address. Let's wait for 30 minutes to confirm if my $5 worth of Bitcoin has been transferred from Coinbase to my Ledger wallet. After waiting for a couple minutes, I have confirmed that I have received my $5 worth of Bitcoin that I sent from Coinbase. Well, how do I know that? Well, I checked my Ledger Life app. So here's my Bitcoin wallet and I name it as Hain BTC and you can name as however you would like. So here is the $5 that I sent and this is the amount of $5 equivalent in BTC. And here's the confirmation that $5 worth of Bitcoin has been received and it was received around 7.42 p.m. So now let's go and check portfolio. And now my portfolio shows $5 and it shows $5 worth of Bitcoin here. And at first there was nothing on my portfolio. So I hope it makes sense for the transfer process of your crypto on desktop version of Ledger Life app. And congratulations if you have gone through this far. That's about it. I hope you get a ton of value out of this video. And by now, I hope you will get a clear picture of how to send your cryptocurrencies from your exchange account like Coinbase to your cold storage wallet like Ledger Nano X. Hopefully the transfer process makes sense. And also if you found this content helpful, drop a like down below and also subscribe my channel for more educational videos just like this. I make videos on personal finance, investing, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle videos. So if one of those topics interests you, then you should definitely subscribe my channel down below and hit the notification bell so that you get updates whenever I upload new videos just like this. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.